Sugar mills have always been one of my favourite things. Uh, lately, they're, some of them aren't going so well. In the north, we're quite lucky. Our, our factories are running well and we've been lucky with the weather. But one of the sad things about the mills is that the term sugar technologist was made in Australia and um, Australia was such a big part of the International Sugarcane Technologists Organisation with key people like Seymour Howe, Francis Seymour Howe of Mulgrave Mill. Um, pretty well made the term. Unfortunately, we did a few things wrong uh, to cut some corners. We got rid of our um, sugar school that trained our sugar chemists as cadets and engineers. And um, <laughs> then we also got rid of the Sugar Research Institute. And we're doing our best to get rid of most of our researchers from Sugar Research Australia, formerly BSES. So in the end, it's, it's, it's a bit strange. But um, we just got to get back to um, everyone just doing their part right. So the farmers are always out there giving it a good go. The harvesters are trying to bloody knock it all down with weather and all the issues they've got to face. And um, we just need every part to play their part. And if they're not up to it, maybe there's some short courses we can do to retrain some of our great young fitters and electricians that are shift supervisors and teach them again about making uh, sugar and, and what a great thing it is. And to quote Mark Twain from over 100 years ago, his talk on um, sugar technology was, any man can make sugar out of cane. But only one in a hundred can do it without getting sand in it. 